Welcome to Goodbit. I'm Lucas, and today we're going to be talking about proof of work. This is the basis, the core, the rock, the Dwayne Johnson of how Bitcoin works. Remember, Bitcoin is decentralized. There's no central bank, government, or company that processes payments. Instead, that's done by a global network without any one central authority. Proof of work is what allows this global network to come to a group consensus and verify transactions in a decentralized way. Here's the thing. Bitcoin mining takes computational work, work meaning effort and resources. Bitcoin miners run computers and spend money on electricity trying to add the next block to the blockchain. The likelihood that they do so successfully depends on how much computer power, how much electricity, and how much work they're putting in. What this means is the only way to effectively break the system is if you own over 50% of the computational power on the network and you're putting up the money for all that electricity. So if you own over half, then you can basically control the network and mine fraudulent blocks by yourself. At this point, given the size of the Bitcoin network, owning over half the resources on it would be almost impossible to do. It would be ridiculously prohibitively expensive. Proof of work has kept Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies safe thus far. But an important drawback is that it consumes a lot of energy. To solve this problem, there are other proof ofs or consensus mechanisms that are being developed and used by other cryptocurrencies that don't even use energy at all. That's proof of work. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.